Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hi everybody, welcome to the uh, WWE 2K24 My GM mode here on the uh, Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, after a strong week last week, we are back once again in first place. And uh, trying to move along here as we get to our first PLE in the new cycle here. So we got some new wrestlers, we got some new challenges, we got some... Uh, we got some rivalries growing, so let's see if we can keep those going. And uh, let's see if we can uh, possibly move towards uh, getting getting some Hall of Fame badges. Because, you know, those are the most important things, apparently, in this game. So, with that being said, let's, uh, let's tour tour. Alright, so what we have to do this week, we got to have... Cora Jade demands that she wins her next match. So basically, we got to give her a tin can this week. Stax expects an appearance in front of his home crowd. Okay. And Triple H wants to give us uh, bargain bid special effects for a TLC match. All right. Let's see what we can do about this. All right. Well, if we got to put Lorenzo in here. There we go. We got one match figured out here. Let's just get all our rivalry, see if we can grow them a little bit here. What's the stamina on both these guys? 53, 59. We got plenty of time. We can give them the next week off. We do have some wrestlers that we haven't re seen last week, so. Uh, I know uh, Jane and Henley haven't wrestled this week. Uh, Geriatric has a feud with Dragonov. Oh, my goodness. Um... So, Becky Lynch won the title last week. I do want to give her a week off here because, well, the, you can see that stamina is a little low here right now. So, what I'd actually like to see is if I could force feed this match here. Or even if we do a tag match. Can I do two bruisers versus... Hmm. Let's see if we can actually fire up a triple threat here, maybe. Uh, we'll get Fallen involved. Well, we have Ivy and... F let's, do the, let's do this one to see if we can maybe get... Uh, One of these I'll turn into a TLC eventually here, so. So for the men, I do want to get Rollins involved here, but who do I want to put up against? MVP still hasn't been in here yet. We got Geriatric. We got, uh, like, Gunter's our champion. We could probably get Gunter and, uh, do we fire up Gunter and Rollins already? I think maybe. Hear me out here, chat. We're going to mix this up here. We're going to go for a tag team match. We're going to go with Rollins and uh, Carmelo Hayes. Take it on the team of... MVP... We put the champ in there. Maybe we can find a feud somewhere in here. So get the champ in there as well. So that Carmelo Hayes 
they had that fight, but nothing came of it, so. I think we'll leave that with that. Now we got room for one more women's match here, so what do we got left? We got Scarlett and Cora. We got Becky and Billy, so maybe we'll just do... Oh, wait, let's see here. Actually, no, let's put uh, Ivy back in. Oh, no, Ivy's already in that. I'm going to put Fallot in there. We're going to switch this to Scarlet because we have that rivalry there already. And... I almost think Jane and Billy would be a good one as well, so. Self promo. I think we can use Cora to get herself going a little bit here. Hollow Probo, who do we have for a rivalry here? Actually, Call Out Probo would probably be more appropriate here. Where she gets to call Becky Lynch. Don't want to hire anybody extra this week. I want to see if I can push it to next week. Self promo. Get Ilya that, or can we get a? Uh... Could do that to get Ilya built up a little bit more. If we get to level ten, that might actually be useful. And then here we could do a charity promo. Dirty Dom likes charities. So we should get one of these to be a TLC match. Um... Maybe we'll set this up as a number one contenders TLC match for the uh, for the women's title right now. I don't want to do that for the tag champs. We still have the tag titles that are available, but we don't have to get crazy yet on that. So, all right. So we tentatively have a show booked at this point. Let's see what we can do for. Uh, well, logistics, we only got three assets, so there isn't much we can do here. We need four assets minimum to do anything, so... Either way, we're pooped on that. Power cards. Oh, the fixed match is available. Okay. Well, I'll buy that so I can use that with, uh... Injury rehab. I got one of those already. Uh, uh, I think maybe just to be safe. I know that's eating a bunch of our our bill up here, but it's it's always good to have a little extra because as we move along here, we are going to start running down on stamina, so. I'm thinking we do this way here. Baron and Lorenzo. We don't have any feuds here. No feuds here. This could be a tables match to start off. We have a tag match in the middle. 
I almost feel like we should go like this just to cure the star power here. Let's see, is there anybody else I can switch into this to make it look better here? The only guy I got left is Geriatric. He's got a few feud with Ilya right now, so. We got a rival, we got a stipulation. Everybody's got a lot of popularity. I think we're good here. All right. Like I said, our first set of shows are rather basic. But let's see what we can do with them. So, all right, our first match here is a tables match one on one. Stax Lorenzo versus Corbin. Spectate this and see how it goes. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. Now, we gave Stax the opening match last week with the uh, taking on Gunter for the heavyweight title. is a tables match. Making his way to the ring. Representing the D. Angelo family from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Kenny Stacks Lorenzo. I would love if they could find a way for the scouting to be like, hey, can we find your tag partner? People that have already had a match, we're gonna, we'll, we'll let them get their announcement and then we're just gonna move on. I love the Corbin graphic. So my ultimate goal, if we could get enough money for it, I'd like to uh, weighing in at 285 pounds, Baron Corbin. Ultimately, I would like to uh, get the bigger venue. All things being even, I want to get the venue first out of everything. But if I can get the show quality improved in any way, I, I want to make sure I'm able to do that, so. But yeah, with all the crazy news going through WWE this week, it's been... It's been amazing to see what's going on here with uh, the Vacker siding. Uh, Ethan Page winning the uh, NXT Championship, which... It was an interesting way to do it. The fact that he won it, but he didn't win it. A little disappointed that there was a lack of women on the show this week for, uh, for NXT as well. I do believe they just had the one tag match. Good to see Fallon Henley hooking up with uh, JC Jade and Jasmine Nix, though. Seems like the veterans got to stick together, right? But yeah, I think next week we're going to have to pick up a couple of temporaries. But I'm hoping this rivalry gets up to a level... Uh, hey, dumbass, you need a table to win this. But instead, he grabs a kendo stick. He almost went through that table. Nice double sledge.
Pops him in the face, chops in the ring. Looking he's gonna try and pop that in the corner. Well, I guess the, the other big news that we got on NXT this week is the fact the Rascals are back together. And Stax just not able to get that... Not able to get that table set up. It looks like Corbin's going to do that now. Unless he's going to hold it for... Oh. Decided to give it to Lorenzo as a special gift. Does it again. Now he sets it up in the corner. All right. So what are you doing now, Corbin? Looks like he's grabbing another table. Now you're going to help. Oh God. Shoved into the corner. Stacks just literally falling him around with the table. That's always great. Just wanted to make sure he hit him with that table. Didn't want any other table, he wanted to hit him with that table. Just like he did there. Oh, this ain't good. If Stax is doing the run around the ring like that, that that usually is a sign that there's a glitch. Oh. Look out. Look out! Here we go! I stand corrected. Stax wins. Great performance in his hometown. Here is your winner, Chad Stax Hopefully you get a good score out of this. Three stars. Okay, I can live with that. Got it, the rivalry to level two, so this very well could be one of our pay-per-view rivalries. Good job. Drag it off XP one. Damn it. All right. Wish it was more, but that's okay. All right, JC Jade taking up Billy Slugger, the MVP of last year, and well, the hot stuff coming out of uh, season one here. Taking out one of the veterans from last year, Billy Slugger. So this is Jade's first match. She had a promo last week trying to call a foul on Henley, but Henley had none of it. It'd be cool if Jade could come out here with the, uh, with the Cody mask, if they could mod that in. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Tampa, Florida, JC J. So yeah, we do the full entrances for the first time in for these guys that... No, um... It's just nice to see, like, I mentioned it during the sidecast this week, but... Which, by the way, if you are watching this on YouTube, go check out our wrestling channel. Uh, we have uh, AEW Sidecast both Wednesdays and Saturdays. Actually, right before we uh, record these. So, um, I was mentioning on there that no matter what channel you're watching for wrestling right now, whether it's NXT, whether it's Raw, whether it's SmackDown, whether it's TNA, even ROH, you're you're not getting that lower level match anymore 
you're getting some very good matches all the way across the board. So it looks like next week I'm going to have to bring a jobber in for Cora Jade because I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to lose her morale on this because I don't want to lose her because she's got that best rivalry with Becky right now. So I want to see if we can build that up to a level four and maybe feed that off at the pay-per-view. But Billy has been on a tear here. Realistically, as things have been going on here. Like I said, this is Jade's debut here on the roster. She tried calling out Fallon Headley last week. It did not work. But Billy just seems so OP right now. It's scary. So depending what happens, we might actually end up, uh... I think next week we'll do some women's tag team titles. We got enough people on the roster, we should be able to cover for that. This Billy comes down, oh, Jesus. Jade just taking her to town right now. Once again, everybody, thank you for stopping by and checking things out here. Uh, the replays of these, uh, if you're not on Twitch, do come up every Tuesday and Friday currently, so... If you want to catch up before you catch uh, the next episode live, uh, you can check it out on our, our Backbreaker Gaming YouTube page. Billy just take it apart. JC here. JC finally changing the tide here for a moment. Little Snake Eyes action. Off the ropes. Big splash. Cover. Cover. You got her down. Really? That's impressive from someone the size of Billy, right? Now she wants you to get up. Double sledge flag, nothing works. And Jade kicks out at two. It's getting stopped to the heel. Stopped to the elbow, sorry. Another big splash. Billy looks like she's gonna take it here. Jade. Jade doing the smart thing and going outside. Now cussing her out. You, you're getting really confident for somebody who hasn't been able to get much offense in this match so far. Maybe just try to psych yourself back up into it. Taking her time, get back into the rig. It's actually pretty smart. Now just try to stretch Billy out. Roll through. 
Oh, going up. Oh, face plant. Cover. Just a two count. Jay getting pissed. Bicycle kick, that should do it. Cyclone kick should be enough. And there you have it. JCJ gets her victory in her in-rig debut here on season two of SmackDown. Here is your winner, JCJ. I do want to line up Jade and Lynch eventually here. I used to want, I don't know if I really want to pull that card quite yet. Her side is hurting, I guess. All right, two stars, I can live with that. But Jane can't, just can't get any rivalries going right now. Like, I want to use her, but she's not. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Got the rivalry going, so we're okay there. Excellent. Rivalries at a level three. We're going to cool it off for a couple weeks just to get the... Uh, Get it ready for the PLE. We need to get it one more level, so. Uh, this way is just a regular tag team match. The debut of Seth freaking Rollins. Team it up with Carmelo Hayes. Take it on the debut of MVP and the WWE Heavyweight Champion, Guta. Be interested to see how this tag match goes. A lot of star power in here. So I just saw a photo with no context, so Bloody Tony Storm and Mariah May. Uh, Mariah won. Just as we were talking about wrapping up the show, uh, Mariah goes up to accept her trophy at the top of the ramp. She takes the belt and clocks Tony Storm in the head with it multiple times. Starts whipping her with the belt. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. So Tony ended up uh, bleeding from the belt shot, but then Mariah takes the shoe and starts jabbing it right in the hole where she got cut. So there's an extra little bit of a, a bit there. So it was, it was nasty. It was funny because Vic uh, from Heels Pops and Chair Shots in the chat, he was chatting with us there. And after the first match with Hangman and uh, Danielson, it was so the show was so amazing that or that match was so amazing he's like that had to be the main event from Boston Massachusetts weighing in at 210 pounds Carmelo Hayes he's like it had to be the main event that that should have been the main event we're not at the end of the night he's like I stand corrected Cause yeah, there was a ton of, there was a ton of blood everywhere. And and like I've said before, it is, we can skip this cause Bell has already had an entrance before. Uh, our top story across all, like all types right now had to have been since they aren't doing hangman and swerve. Well, they're not doing it that way. They, uh, they got, uh, Tony and Mariah, I think is probably the biggest story that they have right now. Like even going off the Mina and Tony feud. And it's a perfect story. It's the, I used you to get where I need to. And now I'm turning my back on you. Sorry, Alicia Taylor, my bad. MVP's debut, so I usually do the full 
entrance so I can get a graphic to use uh, as we go along here. So. You didn't do the full pose. I'm disappointed. And then coming out the champion. But yeah, that whole scene with that. Uh, from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Gold It's funny how he's going to look like that in just a few weeks as well, but except with a slightly different title. Uh, yeah, like wrestling tonight for the most part was okay. I'm still upset that we got the Shockmaster incident with uh, Samoa Joe there. Jericho sent Samoa Joe through some drywall. And apparently it fucked him up. Pardon my French. Let's do her to her tag team time. No title on the line, but. I'm thinking I'm going to try to push for Rollins versus uh, Gunter for uh, for the pay-per-view for the PLE. Because unfortunately, Stax didn't do it. Melo, I don't think I'll be able to get it done, but we'll see how that goes. We'll see what kind of rivalry forms here and then maybe go from there. Just reading up here that Amanda Huber thinks that was the most uh, compelling and impactful women's segment AEW's ever produced. Just seeing everybody talking about how it was shocking how Mariah turned on Tony. I'm like, no, that's pretty much what I expected. The easier story to tell and the more realistic story to tell is I used you to get where I need to be. And that's what they did. So. No, don't steal MVP's gimmick. Gunter gets tagged in and it's just nope. And <laughs> Gunter gets Rollins a right hand just for the hell of it. There's the tag. Gunter too busy showing off. Uh oh. He's in the ropes, Rollins. I'll be interested to see how far we could get this season and see how what other matches we could unload and because re realistically you're supposed to be able to do five seasons to finish everything off so I think we are a little bit ahead of the curve here on a few things but
Once again, another taunt that goes nowhere. Flattens him out, puts him right in the... Oh, there we go. A little bit of a brutalizer there, rigs of Saturn. Kick to the back of the head. Tag into belt. Once again, another Todd that doesn't go anywhere. Like I said for the beginning, I want my big, the big goal of this is to get, uh, just to get some rivalries going if we can. Guter's the champ, I don't know. Many people aren't gonna, aren't gonna get that easy off of him, so. I think we might have to start looking for some other talent here coming up too, so. Almost breaks the arm there. Shot to the chest. Now just working over Rollins, I love it. You guys gonna double team or are you gonna I'd love this to be a double count on just for the hell of it. When you're beating up Rollins like that, it's not a good thing, sir. Nice slide clothesline. I'm glad I'm giving uh, Melo a little bit more of a push than uh, WWE is right now. If you didn't notice, uh, today's uh, speed match was Dragonov versus Hayes to see who can fight, fight Andrade for the uh, speed championship. Nice delayed sling blade there. Rollins take control. I'm, I got a feeling I'm gonna lose out on this one just cause this should have been the main event. Just because of Rollins and Gunter in it and all the star power involved. All right, Mel, you got your chance now. A 
nice DDT on the apron there. Oh, God. Gunter's bleeding. Gunter will be taking some time off after this. My goal was not to use him next week anyway, so... Out out here. Boo! What's the account out? Just to piss off everyone. Nice reversal. In the DDT, so the champ is hurt. Once again, roll to the outside. MVP get knocked out. And Gunter just pulls the Samoa Joe. Spikes him with a DET. Oh, he just sneaks in before the Ted. And now he's pissed. Cover. Referee out of position. Just a long two count. Could have been three if the referee was there in time. Oh, up to the top, hits him with a double sledge. Rolls him over, got in the right corner. The champ only goes down for two. There you go, good turn. That's the way to jab this up. Oh, just right on the throat there. Sitting haste down to the floor. Guter sitting rolls to the floor now. I'll make the tag. No, he won't. All right. Well, this ain't going to be a cohesive unit. Misses on the drop kick. The mellow don't miss. Gonna take off to Rollins. High knee, is that gonna be enough? Two and a half. Uh, shot to the back of the head. Now the tag. That's this has got. Stop to MVP, but in the wrong corner. Fatal mistake by Rollins there. 
He got his finisher in. Now Melo's got to work on getting his. Get out of the way, ref. I fell for it. Oh, you got resiliency. That's why. Gotta love the arm capture suplex there. Guter tagged in. You want to finish this off, you get the champ in there. Going across, send some flip. Come on, cover, my friends. You gotta get some pins. Oh, Guter turns it around. Oh, he knows he's going outside. He ain't gonna let him. He ain't gonna let him hang out out there. Swinging neck breaker. Hard clothesline. All right. Guter's. Oh. This match has been over half an hour. Sorry, chat. That's what I said about tag matches taking too long. We're gonna have to be careful about that. Somebody finished off somebody, or I'm gonna have to call this match. <laughs> Ref ain't even counting at this point. That's a glitch. That's what you do. You get the chip. You get the challenger out of there. Now finish him off and go for the pin. Cover. So it looks like we might not have a game on Saturday for uh... The Uruguayan fans lost in the semifinals of the side start of Brawl in the Stands. Ripcord D. Flash cover. Rob Corner, so you're not going to get that cover. There's a stomp. Cover again. Oh, he could not allowed to get it back in. There it is. Seth freaking Rollins has pinned the WWE champion. You know, so not allowed to say freak in here. All right, two star match. I can live with that. For all that action, it only ends up being two stars. It's going to help the bell curve, but Jesus, what do you got to do? Dominic weak. Ugh. Give me some fan stuff. All right, our main event. 
So Ivy Nile and Scarlet have a feud right now. Fallon Henley is just needs to get involved in a match. So I'm going to make this a TLC triple threat for who, who gets the next shot at Becky while Cora Jade starts stewing. So at least I'm going to attempt to do it that way. And this is Fallon before she's turned heels, so. The following contest is a triple threat. Tables, ladders, and chairs match. So I'm hoping that the TLC match doesn't get wrecked like earlier. So as long as one of our uh, compatriots doesn't pull a stupid card on us, we should be okay for the next few weeks, but I know they're going to. And her opponents, first, representing the Creed Brothers from Knoxville. Love how she's not representing the diamond mine in this game. Just because the diamond mine is half in AEW and the other half just got released this week. With Damon Kemp uh, not having his contract renewed with NXT. Which is a bit of a shame if you ask me, but... All right, so yeah, like I said, the winner of this match should should get an opportunity at the championship. If a face ends up winning it, I'll probably make it a triple threat. Scarlet getting a lot more opportunities that uh, she's been presented before. That's for damn sure. From Sin City, Scarlet. All right, we've already had this entrance, and it goes for a long time. So I'd like to move things along here a little bit. I love to see the money in the bank briefcases. Located up above. All right, here we go. Scarlet doing the smart move, going out and getting a ladder already. Can't really blame her at this point. Could you imagine Scarlet winning this just for the hell of it? Oh God. Looked like Fallon was going to go up there to hit a splash, but Scarlet just said, no, I ain't doing that. That had to suck. <laughs> Ivy just working over Scarlet like... Oy. And Fallon just looks like she just wants to beat people up just to win something. Doesn't matter who it is. And Scarlet with the Thez Prez on Henley. Uh -huh. 
Shot to the back, off the ropes. Scarlet wants tables. Scarlet's giving her ass. Sounds about a like fair trade. Ivy trying to set up again, but... Oh, Ivy breaking out of that full Nelson. Shot to the back. Nice shot to the back. Ivy letting those two fight while she goes after the briefcase. I would like to find a way to get rid of that for, uh... There's one. Two. Two and a half. Three. All right, that ends that. Scarlet's gonna push the ladder over again. Oh, they're both going after Fallon. Uh oh. Scarlet, you better be careful here. Is Scarlet gonna steal this? Scarlet might just steal this out of nowhere here. And Scarlet just said nope. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, Ivy's caught. Uh oh. What goes up must go down. And Scarlet with a huge spear. Oh, it's in the ankle of Ivy. Fallon's all by herself. She's doing the smart thing. Let them fight each other. Canadian Destroyer on the outside. Fallon's gonna steal this. There's four. Missed it. Missed it again. Oh, and she gets it. Last second. What a steal by Henley. Here is your winner, Fallon Henley. So Henley wins and earns herself a title shot. Now it's Scarlet level two. I like this. And Henley earns her shot a little higher. We got the rivalry going up. This was a very fruitful week for all of us here, I do believe, folks. Now in Scarlet's a level two, we got a three and a half star match. We got Fallon with a little bit of extra momentum. We could do a, probably a triple threat match with Becky, Fallon, and Cora. That'll be eventually because we got or we could set it up for later, not a big deal. Let's see what everybody else has done. All right, so for our opener for the World's Women's Championship, we got Meechin taking on Bailey. So they're actually getting the titles out tonight. So Bailey is their inaugural champion. I love that. Level two rivalry there. Carmella getting a little boost there. I like that too. Natalia versus Molly Holly. So One, two, it's over. the first half of their show is all about the women. Two star match. Not surprised. Baszler and Meller are now a level two feud. I like it. I like it a lot. Mid card feud with uh, Jimmy Uso and Braun Strowman. One, two, ring the bell. Jimmy Uso, the winner. Got to a level two. I like it. I like it. Shinsuke putting himself over. Then our main event for the Raw Tag Titles. Robert Roode and Braun Breaker, the uh, Grizzled Beards, taking on R-Truth and Tommaso Ciampa. Truth and Ciampa with a three and a half star match. All right. 
Chop out our truth. That would be an interesting uh, team. All right, our opening match: Karrion Cross versus Bukatse for the heavyweight championship. See how that goes. Buka T with a three and a half star match. All right, no promos. We got Gargano versus Balor with a run in from McIntyre on Gargano. So I expect Balor to win this. Johnny Gargano. All right, Gargano overcomes anyway. Triple threat match: Big E, Elton Prince, and Randy Orton. One, two, ring that bell. Elton comes out. All right. Three and a half stars. Now our main event for the women's championship: Bliss and Stratton challenging Rodriguez and Dolan. One, two, three. Rodriguez and Dolan maintain with a four and a half star match. You liars. Now ECW. Ooh, pretty stacked card here. Sheamus and Priest opening up. I like it. Non-title. I'd expect Sheamus to win that one. Two and a half stars. Ooh. Briggs putting himself over a little bit. All right. Tag team match Niven and Rousey versus Bright Star and Larray. I expect this to be a good score. Piper and Rousey. That might have screwed them up in terms of their rankings here. All right, they got a tag team rivalry. A weak promo, but the rivalry's gone up, so that's all matters. Blair Davenport versus Indy Hartwell. One, two, that's three. Bell. Three star match, all right. And the rivalry's up to a level two, so that's good. Aladon getting herself over a little bit. Always good. Now they're crowning ECW Tag Team Champions. Miz and Logan Paul, the team everybody hates, versus Julius Creed and Tyler Bate. Creed and Bate with the win. Nice. Good job by everybody here. So good booking. Opener main event with the highlights of the show. Focus on raising the overall quality. So we got a level two there. We got a level three there. We got a level one here. We got a level two here. So that's a decent run. Good booking here as well. We got a two. Got a two. Got a two. Got a two. Good booking as well. Level one, level one, level two. And ECW's got rivalries all over the place here. Level two, level one, level two, none. All right. Now the most important part of the show, the rankings. Rating score 102, gained 37,000 fans, made $60,000. So I consider that a big bonus. Jane taking full advantage. Okay. Try repeating those words on it. If you have the guts, all right. And Raw got a 106 and 44,000. So they're gaining on me here. They want, their budget's only 210 now. 2728 and 210. All right. WCW. Gained 50,000 fans, and they have 311,000 money. All right. And ECW got a 106 as well. Gained 40,000 fans. They have 165,000 as their budget. Ugh. So we got the bargain bin special effects, which we can use on somebody else later. So we are still at first. We're 40,000 fans ahead of uh, of Raw right now. I do want to work on getting those Hall of Fame trophies because that's what's really going to win us over here. Can't believe that WCW still doesn't have a women's champion yet. So, But as always, uh, as we're going to wrap things up here, we do have to find out what's going to happen next week just because it won't let us save here at this point. So... Let's uh, just pop in and see what we got coming forward. Pittsburgh, PA. 
Gunter. Need to wipe that smug smile off Hayes' face after that loss. I want to fight him again within the next two weeks. Hey, I can live with that. Whatever you say, champ. Good to see everyone who the real winner is this time. All right. Had a costume malfunction at practice today. Not sure if I'll be able to go on tonight unless we fix it ASAP. What I'll do is I'll get his gear fixed and I'll give him that match with Gunther this week. So that works out. Keep his morale up here. So have your most popular available female face and heel fight this week. Interesting. What do we got for? Oh, we got everything available for logistics again. So we can actually upgrade a little bit here. Would be show quality, cost compensation, open no holds barred. Advanced effects, 14% kill the casket match. Social media ads would work uh, to open up Iron Man. So we're still doing okay. Our roster's looking pretty good here. Let's let's take a look at our stamina right now. So some of the guys that haven't worked a lot are, are down. We got Stax is pretty low, so we'll probably keep him on the bench for a little bit. Should have no problem doing uh, Hayes and... Uh, yeah, Hayes is a little low, but we'll still put him in a regular match. And then hopefully, like, Dragunov is one match, aw one match away from turning on perk number two there. So, hoping we can get uh, perk number two fixed up here soon with him. Maybe we'll give him a match with Geriatric and see how that goes. Or maybe him and Mysterio versus uh, Dragunov. And maybe I'll bring somebody in or something. We can figure this all out next week. So we've been having a lot of fun with this and uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it here as we're uh, hanging out here each and every uh, Wednesday and Saturday after AW Dynamite, AW Collision over on the Mike Ref Twitch channel. Uh, if you're watching this on the VODs, we do have it available on our uh, gaming YouTube channel here every uh, Tuesday and Friday at uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Mountain. But with that being said, we're going to wrap things up here for tonight. Uh, Twitch streamer, Twitch fans, hang on. We're going to raid out here in just a moment. We're just going to wrap it up on YouTube here. And for those on YouTube, consider giving us a thumbs up and give us a subscribe. It is free on the YouTube channel. So, But as always, folks, thank you for stopping by. Uh, we will see you here on Saturday with our next one. Uh, week three and we could start getting towards the uh, ple here so but as always folks remember be part of the solution don't be part of the problem and we'll see y'all here next time on the backbreaker gaming channel take care everybody